All right, thank you, Tony. Toppled tombstones at a historic cemetery. Vandals striking the Gray Cemetery in Providence again. And it's not a new problem for the church that owns the graveyard, but one they don't have the money to fix. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has the story, new at 530. Well, it's a problem that's plagued this cemetery for years. Vandals coming and knocking over tombstones. The church that manages the cemetery says they simply can't keep up. Toppled tombstones, some cracked clear off the bases, create a jumble of granite and limestone at Grace Church Cemetery in South Providence. It's a problem that's been plaguing these hallowed grounds for years. It is frustrating. The Reverend Canon John Hike is the rector of Grace Episcopal Church on Westminster, which owns the cemetery that sits at the corner of Broad and Elmwood in Trinity Square. The cemetery dates back to the 1830s. Many of the families who owned plots there have died off or moved on, leaving the maintenance and the eyesore in the hands of the church. I've been at Grace Church eight years, and I don't remember a time when all the headstones were up. So it's sad to say, unless you lock it up like Fort Knox, people will get in and people will um, will do things they should not do in a cemetery. A new fence has helped a bit, but Hike says the vandals still come. He says the church has gotten grants and partnered with organizations to do upkeep, but they haven't attempted to fix any of the stones just yet, citing constraints on money and means. So we're putting together a, a, a new organization that will really focus on the um, on the cemetery and these kinds of issues. Hike is hopeful this new group will make progress in what's been a years long struggle. It's it's an uphill battle. And the church says that they're looking for people to join that new nonprofit organization. If you're interested in learning more or joining, you should call the church. You can find that number on our website, WPRI.com. In the control room, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.